Hello, hello, hello. We are back yet again, ready to continue, and oh my gosh, this map is going to be a menace. Okay, I will be fair and say I know I said that about the last map, and then we saw what happened, but this map is very, very grueling. It is a, it's like an endurance test. Granted, there are ways to cheese this map, but I don't really know them. Um, I think you mostly just kind of like transport units over and or use the warp staff, but I don't know. Oh, and there's our lovely friend Reeve again. Remember him? Oh gosh. This map, I, I, I really, I, I'm nervous about this map, <laughs> which I know I said that about the last one, but anyway, let's just, let's dive in. This is going to take a long time. I, I unironically have no idea if I can finish this in one part. Like, I would be kind of surprised if I could. Because this map, it might not even look like that much to start, but it is... Oh my gosh. It throws so much at you, just constantly. Uh, I'm trying to find a space where, uh, like, Tonic can fly in and bait the archer. Because she has my Billy Shield. I don't feel comfortable with that. Yeah, you also get a lot of units, like a lot, a lot, so uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, moving here. In fact, uh, I think it actually gives you more than the previous chapter, which is kind of absurd. Uh, I actually ended up slotting in uh, Dusel. So just to complete my harem, meaning we now have three freaking Great Knights. Remember whenever I promoted Ford into a Great Knight? Because I was worried about class variety, what in the world happened? Like, how did we get here? Oh my gosh. So, 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 um, just what's on my mind. Exciting news. This is the penultimate chapter, which means unless something goes, like, critically wrong and I have to do this in two parts, which is possible with how long this chapter is, then, uh, next episode will be the finale. That's, that's exciting. I think it's exciting. I am, um, where, yeah, I should uh, keep him for shell, like, a lot of my supports are probably, like, just beyond reach, but it's worth trying, um, Mulder, right here, yeah, I kind of started neglecting the support thing again, um, whatever, no, not you, who are you supporting with, nobody, oh, yeah, you ended up benched for a while, Cool. Cool. Uh, lead away. I, I I know these units carry some tricky weapons too. Uh, I specifically remember a run where Garrick died a bit to a sword reaver, even though he was using an axe. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a menace. Um, it's kind of like what I was expecting from the previous map, except there's really not much of a way to like cheese it. Like I did, and uh. Oh gosh. Ugh. I'm probably just gonna have to defend it at the beginning, unfortunately. Because this is a lot of early pressure. Like, a lot, a lot. I love this song, by the way. I love all of the music in this game. I've said I love this song like 19 times in this game thus far, and it. It remains true. Um. Bait with Do Us All. You know what? Even though I'm worried about time, I'm going to turn animations on, like, very briefly, and I'll tell you why. Because this is the end of the game, and I'm like... I haven't gotten to see my cool promoted unit animations thus far. Oh, by the way, Phantom does not have an animation. Like, so the, uh, to summon. Just in case you were wondering. Uh, rat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back up really hard. I'm actually, like, really, like, pincered into a corner already, which is not a great start. Uh, this chapter is very oppressive, though. It, it really is. Um, cool. Just... Cool. Rad. I really hope Derek does well with that speed. But yeah, I want to do a few turns with animations on. I, I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Like, I don't know. To, just to, the, the promoted animations are really cool. And um, I want to see them like at least once before the game ends. Eh, like not at all. What do you actually have? I should have checked that. It's stealing. That's not too bad. Um, da, 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 da. I'm just 
still have primal fear of like arrows, even though I have the the uh, fully shield. Um, oh gosh, what are these items? Says I, I did a lot of item management and I bought a lot of items, but um, still kind of came up short in some areas apparently. Uh, cool. Tethers, you get to actually do something. How exciting! Oh yeah, you have animations too. Not like that's like very exciting. well. Okay, Tethers animations are pretty cool. Yeah, I'll turn them off after like a turn or two. But I just wanted to see some animations a little, a little bit more. Oh no! It's also a lot more, a lot less threatening whenever I can actually see the numbers and realize that Dusel's perfectly fine, even though he hasn't been fielded in like ten chapters or whatever. Oh my gosh! I am like really. Uh, I don't remember. This, I didn't remember the chapter being quite so oppressive like at the beginning. I remembered it being a little bit. Uh, I don't know, less. Nice crit. Tana doing Tana things. Taking no prisoners here. Those are what have me concerned. Uh, they are quite scary, if I recall correctly. I, re I believe one of them has a Sword Slayer, too. Oh my gosh. Jeez, dude! Oh, okay. I'm a little nervous. This has me a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'd like to clear these out before they can just run in and kill my uh, vulnerable units. You can't hit Tana, it's impossible! I say it until she dies. Oh, boy. I actually never did finish the uh, Tana Cormac support, did I? Actually, now that I'm like thinking of supports and stuff. In retrospect, I should have brought my uh, legendary weapons, but I was like, you know what, I want to save them for the final chapter. Like, I want to be sure I have all my legendary weapons ready to go. Cool. I think I still have some restore staffs on someone. Uh, Lara Shell. I, I feel like the S, the S anima thing is just like long gone. Is that crit? No, it wasn't. I never remember. Mage Knight animations are like just really like over the top in general. Oh boy, this is gonna get messy. <laughs> this is gonna get really messy. I actually like didn't prepare for this chapter like at all. Like I just kind of was like, oh, this will be fine. This chapter. I remember it being long, but not that uh, that tough. I don't know. I just kind of misremember again. This is a this is a little bit intense. I have to watch these guys. I know one of them has a Sword Reaper. It might be a re- There it is, Sword Slayer. Good against Sword Fighters. You. I saw him kill Garrick on a run. He, uh... Garrick was wielding an axe, but he just kind of walked in and blew Garrick to pieces. And it was not pretty. I'm gonna back off a little bit. I have to watch this though, yeah. I can't I can't let Tethys get shot by an arrow. She would not survive an arrow. That much is quite clear. I, I'm not looking forward to this next turn. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I remember this map giving you a little bit more like leeway at the start, and like I'm just like immediately pressured and like ugh. I'm very mildly concerned about Mulder, but we'll see. Look, what did we just go over? You can't hit Tana! Are you not getting the memo? Like, what in the world? Level up! Nice! Oh my gosh, this Han is so good. She was like kind of slow at the start, and then she just like was like, no. This Cormag's good too. But he refuses to dodge, apparently. 33%, nice. Oh, whatever. I actually don't know which one's the better one between uh, Ton and Cormag right now, because they're both quite good. Okay, expected that. Ooh, Ford. Honey, no. 
Uh, Ford might be dead. Do I care about that? No. No, I don't. Um, if Ford dies, uh, honestly, I think I, I unironically think Doozle, without any training whatsoever, is better. I swear, if Garrett gets hit on a freaking one percent, I would be so mad. Oh my gosh. One, like, literally 1% chance to hit. Like, it wouldn't do that much damage, so it would be fine either way, but it would be so irritating, just like, by concept. Oh, nice. Give that DXP to somebody. Good weakening! You're now a Jagan, Garrick, even though it's the end of the game. We don't need Jagans anymore. If he gets a double, this gets really ugly. Oh, he doubles. Wow! Go forward! Look at you, Ford! You're doing it! Yeah! Ford, guys! He's back in the game! Ford says he doesn't even need a redemption arc. This is his redemption arc. That, doesn't, that, that sentence made literally no sense, like, on any level. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, where is the where is the sword slayer asshole? I, I remember this guy super well, and I don't want to deal with him. Ooh, that's gonna be really ugly. Uh, he, that guy will do effective damage against anybody with a sword, which in like in a class that uses a sword, I believe, and uh, it's very wonky in that regard. Like I like what counts and what doesn't is very like just odd. Uh, get some older exp. Putting that Slayer to use with the killing one damage. Yeah, Molder! Molder the Boulder! Eh, okay. I'll take that. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, um. I re why is their support building so slowly? Like, I really would have thought that they would have had that already. But... Whatever. How much danger are you in if I just don't do anything with you? Okay, so if I can, I can safely clear this wave, is what I'm getting here. Um, cool. I love that. I love this class's animations. Like the uh, Berserker, he looks so cool. So being you'd crit to show off those cool animations, but you know, whatever. Russ. It's kind of sad that my Ross fell off. He was, like, really, really good for a while. Hey, that's why you fell off. Speed. Maybe you'll be good now. Not especially likely, but maybe. And who doesn't love Swordmaster animations? Especially the crit, but again, like, I'm not gonna, like, burn a killing edge just to show off the animation. Um... Okay, what is your weapon rank? B. Yeah, this is, like, so cursed. There's, like, absolutely no way you're hitting uh, S. Not even a chance. I would have to, like, re- well... Let's say, I'd have to, like, really give you a lot of favoritism. And, uh, th like, as I was saying that, I was like, you know, maybe I should do that. I like, uh, like her a lot, but whatever. Ew. Ugly. Shadow shot. Ew. that. Oh my god, Eric is still level 2. Jeez, okay, um, I'm like checking these really carefully because I keep feeling like I've been missing something, but like, no, um, okay. Come on, Erica. Oh, whatever. I don't really care if she burns her legendary weapon, like, it, there's very little shot of her ever, like, actually, like, contributing to the final boss. I figure I'm just kind of going to unload on the final boss with all my legendary weapons. Uh, yeah. Steel sword! My supply is almost, like, out of space, by the way. I was checking that. I was, like, uh, managing that, and then, um, I was like, oh, there's, like, no space left. <sighs> Do I trust... I'm curious on if this guy moves or not. I would assume not, because I think he would have gone for, like, Ephraim if he could have, but... I'm, like, not positive, and I don't... Okay. I'm gonna move Tana down and see if she can bait anything. Uh, I think I can raise her avoid now. Um, sure. Sure. I have to really be aggressive against this wave. I, I really want to take these guys out ASAP. I'm gonna 
writing it all smug, like, this is our base now. Eh, boy. There are a lot of reinforcements on this map. It is, I, whenever I mention it being grueling, okay, I, I have to really be attentive. Okay. There he is. He has to die. He has killed Garrick before. I have seen it happen. Oh, great. Close. Close. I think I'll kill someone else first, and then, uh, let Larshell do something. Look at her go! Remember whenever she couldn't even fight? She was just the helpless little cleric, and now look at her, she's just blowing things up. Torching them! Rad. Okay, just to show you what I'm concerned about. Yeah, it wouldn't like outright kill him, but that is a lot of damage for my Garrick. Garrick is quite possibly my best unit right now, and that is still a ton of damage. Just... He outright one-shots Joshua. Literally just one-shots. This is what I was concerned about, and that's why I, want... I was like really paying attention to his range. I, uh, definitely... Oh yeah, I... Total tangent. Um... Yeah, I, I messed with the audio again. I kind of like was watching the last one back, and I felt like the game audio was a little bit too loud. So I kind of bumped it down, and I hope I didn't bump it down too much. Like, I spent so much time initially getting the audio like set up, and then, uh... Okay... I need to be careful about that as well. This is actually like a really tricky turn. I really probably need to be doing like paying more attention than I am. Because, uh, I kinda need to clear this entire wave, otherwise it gets quite threatening. I've been just kinda like, like, yeah, whatever, just doing my thing. Um, out of curiosity. Uh, Inez is, like, super filler by this point, like, he can't really contribute that much, so... He's probably my weakest combat unit by a large margin. Okay, um, what can you reach? Not very much. Cool, one round. Yeah, I definitely need to turn animations off again. I just, I really like them. They're really cool in this game, and, um... What else do you need? What else do you need? Like, it, they're cool. Come on, Swordmaster Crit, the old gamble. Yes! I love that. I love that animation so much. And again! Yeah! It's a cool class. It's not a great class. Being sword locked is never a great thing, but. Eh, I love it. Alright, let's turn the animations off, I guess. Again, just kind of indiscriminately burning the legendary weapon on Erica, but. She's not going to be contributing all that much, so like, whatever. Just, whatever, it's fine. Okay, good. I'm just kind of worried about uh, getting stoned. What do you have? I, 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 I This map has, like, a really annoying tendency to just throw in enemies that have, like, really irritating weapons on them. So I kind of have to, like, keep watching that. Let's push up. This map is going to take nine eternities. Like, oh my gosh. I really hope I can do it in one recording, but I don't know. It's a long map to begin with, and then I've, like, been playing so anyway. By the way, don't you love that Renok is here? There's so much thief utility for Renok. He didn't get into the chapter where he could have stolen my Hoblon guard back, but he gets into this chapter where there's... I, I don't think there... There might be like a random stealable item somewhere, but um... I don't know. Look at this Ford Redemption arc. He's doing it. Please don't be more reinforcements. Let me just push up, dude. It's... It's almost 20 minutes in, and I've, like, almost gotten nowhere in this freaking chapter. Nice! Still no speed. That is really perplexing. Garrick usually does rather well in speed, not like... No, of course not! More reinforcements. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Oh my gosh. 
Well, okay. I'm just making I'm making it up because the last one, the last episode was too short, so we've got to get a long one, right? Right. Curiosity. I'm not actually that concerned. The last. I kind of feel like you could just stick Cormag and Tana there and they'd be fine, honestly. Uh, his enemies aren't super threatening. Like, even if they all hit, I don't think they'd kill. I'm keeping these two glued to each other because I really want that support. I really should have given that to kill someone else, though. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Cool. It's so weird that Null hasn't really done much in the last few chapters. Like, Phantom Baiting hasn't been especially useful in the past chapter or two. Our show needs to go up. Just push everybody up. Push like it's League. Played League in a while. Fun game. My internet is, like, too shaky right now to really realistically play any, like, live games. So... I think the current, like, hot thing is, uh, Pokemon Unite. Which I have not tried. A streamer that I like is really into it, I believe. Good dodge, Cormag. Good crit, Cormag. Good dodge. Cormag's so reliable. I like him. He's probably my favorite character. I I have this weird relationship with, like, favorite characters in this game where I don't, like, have a clearly defined favorite. Oh, sure, just pile them in. Why not? Yeah, I don't really, like, have, like, a necessarily clearly defined favorite. I just have, like, a lot of characters that I really like. Like, whenever I say Cormac's my favorite, it's, like, he's probably my favorite. I just haven't... Oh, nice. Captain Max. I just haven't really, like, overly, like, sat down and considered it, I guess. Yeah, like, Cormag's up there, Tana's up there, I don't know. I've, I've gone through this list several times in this run by now, like... Just a lot of characters that I, like, that I enjoy. I feel like most games I have, like, one clearly defined favorite. And by the way, on that subject... Oh my gosh, totally ridiculous tangent, but whatever. On that subject, I, I whenever I was listing my favorites, I actually missed my favorite Awakening unit, which is really, really funny, honestly. Uh, my favorite Awakening unit is Maribel, and I just, I didn't even list her, and like, that probably gives you an indication of how much I care about Awakening. Like, sorry Awakening fans, it's not my favorite game. I still have that idea of, uh, doing a tier list on my mind, by the way. Like, I of all of my favorite Fire Emblems. I just don't know if it's like too like clickbaity. I don't want to be like, yeah, look at this. Fire Emblem tier list ranked best to worst. Oh my gosh, I don't even know which freaking that. Uh, Great Knight is a witch. How absurd. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I do worry about being too clickbaity. I don't know. Um, it would be kind of fun for a video, but I don't know. I vaguely want to do, like, some scripted videos in general. Like, I have some ideas of, like, some topics that I could cover, but then I was like... <sighs> Part of it is that I don't know. <laughs> video editing scares me. Uh, the Hoplon Guard video was, like, the most editing I can, I can manage, and that was, like, 10-year-old with, with a video editing, like, free software on their mom's computer tier. Like, it wasn't good, so I don't know. Eh... We'll see. Why did I do that? I don't think anybody can actually... I don't think anybody else can actually get to this, uh... Whatever. Whatever. Just... Whatever. He should still go for the Phantom, I would assume. But that was just such a silly move. Cool. I should have... Yeah, okay. I need to check these weapons as well. I know this map has a tendency to just throw in, uh... Halberd, there we go. Effective against cavalry. Yeah, this this map is just a jerk. That's how we would describe this map. It throws in random weapons that have like extra effects in the middle of these groups, and it's just like, ha ha! Did you Sword Slayer again? Halberd. This map is so mean. <laughs> this 
That's, it just is, okay? It feels like it's intentionally designed for the player to not check like a, like one weapon and then just get blown up by it. This <laughs> pants up his clutch. There we go. I was worried about Null not doing enough. Oh my gosh, it's 30 minutes in and we are still like not far into this map at all. I want to do it in one recording, but I also just legitimately don't know if it's going to be doable, so... This is, like, really functionally my last shot for supports as well. The, ne the next map is the two-part finale, and it's not a map that's very conducive to support grinding, to be blunt. Um, I kind of vaguely want to see how my flyers do against, like, all of these, like... If I can clear out some of this pressure, then that would be really nice. Uh, like, I'm 100% sure Tonic can do this. I'm just, like... I don't know. This map is so long. I, the cheesy strategy is to use flyers and warp to quickly kill Mr. Morva, who by the way is Murr's dad, if you don't know the uh, Sacred Zones lore. That little dragon lolly we got earlier. You uh, use flyers and or warp to clear that and just kind of like not do the map. That's basically the strat, don't play the map. It's gonna pass. So, so, oh my gosh, these guys are gonna take a while too. These uh, those dudes are really bulky. I remember them being like they're bulky and they hit hard, but I don't remember them being overly threatening. We'll see. Well, cool. Okay, so where was the halberd or whatever? I don't remember all the ridiculous weapons in this. Okay, it must have been on one of the non-moving ones, yeah. I assume they probably move whenever I enter their range, but okay. Let me see how, like, my units actually do against them. It'd be nice to find out. Yeah, they don't really hit that hard or anything, so it's like, whatever. Whatever. I figure if I could just clear out the eyeballs... ...and... Kind of just, I don't know, generally reduce pressure. That's kind of my goal right now. Curiosity, how does Erica do against these lovely things? She doesn't hit very hard. Um, I, I feel comfortable baiting like one, but not the other. So it's like, eh. that's what we're going to do. Uh, I, I, I hope this works out how I intend for it to. I kind of want Erica to bait one and a phantom to bait the other. Checking for the supports. Nice, just, just nice. Okay, sure. I'm almost done with my water, and we're like not even remotely close to being done with this map. Nice crit. Throat's been sore. My allergies haven't been like as like staggeringly bad as they were on that. Map, on that one map, but, uh, it's not great. I actually don't remember, is, um, why am I asking a question again? <laughs> there is no one who can answer this. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna, I'm going to pose it regardless so you can understand my, uh, thought process. I'm wondering if Vidofnir slash the other legendary weapons are effective against Morva. I feel like they are, but I also feel like that sounds like just something I'm making up, like, just completely arbitrarily, so... I actually don't really know. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Oh, really? Our shell can't double? What? Our shell speed's quite good. Um, really? That's. Are you just getting weighed down too much, I guess? That's really interesting. I was like 100% sure she would double. Okay. Cool. I was gonna. I, I actually thought that Lara Shell would like almost certainly one round, and so I was gonna have her. Uh... Yeah. I was gonna have her kill one, get dance, and kill the other, but I guess that's not happening. Cool, I guess. Yeah, these guys are so bulky. Like, it's so. Like, it kind of. 
They're not even, like I said, they're not even, like, really threatening. They're just irritating to take down. Whatever. Slayer! Oh my gosh, one-off. That's so annoying. Whatever. Wait a minute. One? Could it be the Ford Redemption arc continues? Haha! <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me, Ford? Okay. Okay, hang on. This The Ford Redemption arc isn't over yet. Okay, well, I danced around first time. The Ford Redemption arc is over. It has been cancelled. Sorry to all of you Ford fans out there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was absurd. Okay, whatever. And we're not continuing his reign of dominance on this map. Just absolutely crushing it. Let's have Slay here. Um... I really want to start baiting out the Shadow Shot. I'm just a little bit antsy about it, but I also think that Tano's reliable enough to do it. <sighs> a little antsy. I'm, I'm just a little antsy. Just, just a little. A little antsy. That damage, that Gilliam damage is insane! Yeah! Gosh. Dudes are ridiculous. Whatever. At least they're at least the reinforcements are done. Okay. Oh, the reinforcements are not done, but uh, I assume that there are more like zone-based ones. I just mean like those that specific set. How bad of an idea is it to just fly to? Oh, Lance Reaver. That's that's yeah, that's a bad idea. Okay. I'm telling you, this is a freaking map, and it's just capacity to just throw out all this random bullshit at you is just so irritating. Like it just. It just loves these random status tomes and stuff, and it's like, okay. Slayer! Yeah! Molder Redemption Arc! Molder Redemption Arc over! He still sucks! Cool! Um, okay, so it should be safe to put anybody, like, up here. I really trust. Eric, and even he can't do that great against them. Unless he crash! Yeah! I don't know where this voice came from, but that's the new, uh, HYPE VOICE! Yeah! Gosh, this is absurd. Nice! Go over cell. Like, Soleil's been kind of under the radar lately. Get your weapon level! Now somebody can use Excalibur. It's probably not going to be Larachel, but you know. One damage! Oh my god, it's a crit! One damage! That's a hype three damage! Is that not the most damage you've ever seen? Look at that Axe Reaver damage! He's insane! Oh my gosh. This, okay, yeah, I need to stop talking like that for like... I don't even know. Cry, cry at my own ridiculous voices. Ford Redemption Arc, go! Come on, Ford hype! Ford? Ah! He did it! Ford guts his dad! Oh my gosh. I'm very proud. I'm very proud. I just need to, I just want to clear these, uh, these out a little bit, um, yeah, that's like, that's basically all there is to it, I just want to clear them out, I think I'm kind of justified in that. I'm actually going to send a phantom down to the, uh, bottom group. I, I feel like it would help in baiting either the Shadow Shot or the Lance Reaver. Like, I'm not inherently- oh yeah, my shot- <laughs> Oh my gosh, that like, like really freaked me out for a second. I was like, wait a minute, I, I totally did not remember that. Oh, wait. It's fine. I think she would have been fine, but it was just that one little like, whoops, misplay moment. I was- I, I had actually originally intended to clear all of them, and I did not. Uh, yeah, it's it fine. Get that weapon rank! There might be a shot, but it's gonna require an absurd amount of grinding, unfortunately, so it's like... Do I want to do that? I don't know. Really freaking wish that, uh... I don't remember. I guess. Okay. 
Let's push. Uh, I know that there are several more reinforcements to do contend with. Uh, I'm quite positive about that. If I'm recalling correctly, and I haven't looked at this map, I believe that there's a big group of eyeballs that jumps in around here quite soon. So, look forward to that. That actually might be a uh, Mulder thing. He has the res to do it, I believe. Three, the three Great Knights is one of the most absurd things I've ever done, by the way. Like, I have no idea which one is which at any given time, because they all have the same sprite. Cool. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to go in that hard, because I know that the eyeballs show up. Uh, with that said, I don't know their trigger. It might be zone-based. Wow. Okay, cool. Do I risk this? It's not even a risk, honestly. Let's see, there's a Brave Lance. Just get him out of here. Core Mag level up. Nice. Eh, okay. I've seen worse. Yeah, my convoy is... I, I mentioned it earlier, but my convoy is, like, almost <laughs> completely full. Which is just lovely. Um, cool. Watch you have, like, an Axe Reaver axe. Like, uh... Garrick is not cavalry. I'm not concerned about that. What's our shells rest? I wonder if she could take those eyeballs. I know they spawn in. Like, I, I remember that. Basically, uh, since I didn't check the map, my, uh, my working knowledge of this is, like, whatever I have seen on the stream and, like, recall about it, which... I mean, I recall a lot about, like, streams I watch and stuff. No, I don't want you to crit. Okay, good. Might be like a large shell training montage. Okay. Oh, I love it. I trust Tana's res. I don't necessarily trust Gormags. Uh, I'm gonna put her here. And I really hope that doesn't prompt <laughs> force fits. Uh, I believe. Uh, most, if not all, of the reinforcements in this map are zone-based. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really just kind of touch and go, I guess. Uh, sure. So watch those top ones. I'm assuming they're going to all charge. Now. Yeah. I believe that they're actually mildly intimidating as well. Oh, Rip Phantom. You were actually quite a useful Phantom. And there, there's reinforcement. Oh, damn it. Okay. Sure. Damn it! Okay. Well, that's tricky. My hope is that Tony can kill with a giant one. Yes, nice. Okay, got rid of that. It might put Tana in a slightly shaky spot, but I'm hoping that she can just outmaneuver them. Okay, now where can you hit? Okay, I'm gonna kill with Lara Shell, and then we're gonna kinda back up and uh, take these guys out. Because I remember these guys being... Actually, I don't know. Are we gonna back up? Hmm. Eh, I don't love the Shadow Shot. I kinda wanna just, like, meet them, like, right here and just take them on, but, um... The Shadow Shot has me a little bit concerned. Siege magic is not the scariest thing of the world. Like, there are more threatening things in the game, but it is, it's intimidating enough that I'm like, I don't really love the idea of dealing with it, so I'm just gonna kinda take them here, I think. Get another phantom. Insta-promoting Null was one of my best ideas of this entire run. I know he hasn't, like, he hasn't been contributing as much lately, but still. I'm very curious about what the bottom group of enemies is going to do. And by curious, I mean a little bit concerned. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit iffy. Um, I'm not super worried. But I am a little worried. And a little worried is more worried than I want to be. Ooh. That's bad. You aren't eyeballs! How dare my memory betray me! Ooh, that's really bad. 
That's really bad. This is a kind of a sticky situation, in fact. Um. Okay. Step one, let's just damage attack on Lara Shell. Okay, so I don't I don't like that. Two of them are enough to kill Lara Shell. Counterpoint. She's one of my most frail units, and she can take two shots with decent dodge. What does that mean for the rest of my army? I can realistically infer that most of my army will do okay here. However, I am worried about somebody getting ganged up on. Also, yeah, Tana and Cormag should be fine. What is the worst case scenario? 18... Okay, so the worst case scenario is death. That's not fun. Death is sad. So what I'm going to do is, as, as relatively unlikely as it is, I'm going to have these two meet up and then hopefully take them on together. If the situation is such that it becomes unlikely, meaning of uh, like these ranges are a little bit too overwhelming, then I'll have them meet back up with the North group. Now then, what will the North group do? Let's find out. Freaking shadow shot. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of like, like strategizing this entire thing in like real time because I, uh, I actually was not uh, expecting this group to pop up here, unfortunately. I'm thinking. Um, Garrick doesn't have any two range on him at the moment, unfortunately. Seth can't get there, unfortunately, and neither can Ross, and neither can Boulder. Excellent! Okay. okay. How does Ephraim do here? Good, but not fantastic. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have to back up a little bit, unfortunately. Am I gonna put a phantom here? I have to put my weaker units towards the back, and I have to get- I have to put Lara Shell in a spot where she can't take multiple rounds of combat. Um, the spear should be fine. Okay, so if Lara Shell is here... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put it up from here. Ah, uh, wrong support. Respect the effort, but wrong support. Um, I feel like 80% confident with uh, with Erica there, but I I would rather it be 100. So I'm just gonna kind of move back. Like not with my game over condition. Okay. This formation feels decent. I think I'll throw Ford here. Not with a reaper weapon. Um, okay. I feel alright enough about this. Just keep damping green speed, I guess. Let's do whatever. This might have to be a two part chapter, and I don't want that to happen because I really want the next part to be the finale. I've been all, like, hyped up for the finale, and it's like. Okay, I feel like this. this I feel like that's about as well as I could have set myself up for this turn, and I hope I'm right on that. Okay. Cool. Phantom putting in work. I'm actually quite okay. It's actually might be a little bit bad if um. Yeah, the situation is not looking great. I'm getting kind of pincered in yet again. Okay, I'm gonna have to really like carefully check damage on the next turn. Okay. I am now seeing the hopes of this being a one-part chapter just go up in flames, unless I decide to just use it. Okay, um... So you can get to there. Okay, so... Cormac and Tana should... Okay, wait, 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 hold on. The range is a little bit deceptive. Ha okay, so... I can realistically have Cormag and Tana clear these two. Sure, you don't have anything like completely just obnoxious. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
well, I'm gambling on 50% cred. Eh? Oh my gosh, that's not great. However, that's not that bad. Um, what I can do... Two rounds of combat is fine. For you know, either of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Brave Lance. I'm just burning this Brave Lance up. But we are at the end of the game, so it's like, you know... If, there, if there's a time to start burning off these uh, weapons, it would be right around now. Please be able to one round. No. No, you cannot one round. Cool. Um, sure. If we can clear most of them, I feel like we're okay. It's just a matter of doing that. Uh, sure. Well, go in us. Um, sure. Let's try that. Nice. Just get him out of here. In his redemption arc. Okay. All right. Go in us. It is isn't a bad unit. He doesn't really need the redemption arc. Redemption arc canceled. He doesn't need it. Cancel due to raid. Go Larishel. Kinda wish you got more speed, but weapon level increased. You're so close to S, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. Like it's uh, I recall the the uh, last weapon level taking a while. But maybe I'm just misremembering. Like maybe it just feels like it takes a while. Okay, this enemy is going to be, this enemy is like the really tricky one, because I really want this one dead, but uh, it's like, it's tough to do. Okay, never mind, no it's not. No, it's not at all, okay. Ross just isn't good anymore. This enemy's not tough, it's just, we hate Ross now. Sorry, Ross. Oh, I like Ross. I mean, I'm actually quite sad that he's like tur turning into such a mediocre unit. It's uh, really unfortunate. By the way, this is why it was a ridiculous move to be to bench Tethys for as long as I did. Ooh, bad. whatever. I'll just rescue. I actually thought that uh, Ross could step on that, but apparently not. Just put you here. Um. Okay. Like at least relatively careful, but I don't think there are any ranges that I'm missing here. Oh. And 47 minutes in, and we are not close to being done with this chapter at all. Uh, I just, like I was so set on this being like the the penultimate part, but um, I don't know. It's looking really dicey. Thanks for getting hit by that Ford. I was really just hoping. I was like, please let Ford get hit by that. I just want him to fail. I don't want Ford to fail. I like Ford, but he continues to fail regardless of my expectations. Uh, sure. Um... Let's put Null here and summon. Amusingly, I could see a world where the Phantom goes for, uh, or the, uh, enemy goes for Inez instead of the Phantom. Whatever. Nope. Going for the Phantom. They do often go for, uh, things that can't counterattack, but... Really hope I can check the ranges correctly, because those, uh, those Axe Bros are really scaring me. Axe Bro in monster form. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so Noxious to deal with. Jeez, this map is gonna take like four freaking hours, dude. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Back it up. Just, just keep on backing up. Um, by the way, Boots Tethys is probably the call for Boots if you're playing Sacred Stones and want some actual, like, legitimately good gameplay advice. Um, 
Boots Garrick, not such a good idea. Well, okay, it's not a bad idea. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, say I made a mistake there, because, uh... Oh, you have an Axe Reaver. What a jerk! What a jerk. Okay. I actually don't love this situation. Like, uh, this is actually going quite south quite quickly. We are really pressured in here, and there's not a lot I can do to, like, relieve that pressure. It kind of relies on a few key units dodging, honestly. Um, I don't feel comfortable with these, because, uh... Yeah, it's not... It's the, it's a combination of enemies that's, like, really has me concerned. Why is your movement so bad? I thought you guys counted as, like, cav units. Eight move, but apparently the boars just really slow you down or something. Because that is not eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, never mind. It's like seven, but whatever. Okay, sure. Um, I guess I'm going to have my my groups like reunite, which I was kind of hoping to. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. Okay. Let's have you two back up. I'm kind of playing this by ear, and I feel like I'm, like, I'm really concerned about missing something, because this is, er, this is not a good situation, let's just put it that way. If it comes down to it, I might use Renok as a phantom and just have him bait and die. Um, that probably sounds really mean, but, uh, there's not, the, okay, uh, let me take that back. There is the futility left. But it's not good thief utility. It's a uh, it, the final map has a few uh, chests that you can grab, but they're really bad, like really bad. Um, I, I wouldn't actually be that upset about Renok dying at this point. I really hope I didn't miss something. Like I, I'm really concerned about this. Nice job, Garrick. I'm really surprised he's going for Garrick. Actually, like that's. I, I'm, I'm really surprised. Oh, I think Ford died. I forgot to heal Ford. Oopsie! <laughs> oh, the redemption arc has ended. Oh, that's so sad. I feel awful about that. Oh, Ford. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Oh, okay. That is a, that is that's upsetting. Oh, Ford. Uh, I kind of saw it coming. Like, okay, I didn't see it coming, but I like. It, it, Thing. I was gonna say, like, as soon as I saw his HP drop, I was like, well, yeah, whatever, he was at almost zero HP. No, just keep on piling him in there, sure. This chapter is awful, I'm sorry, I don't like this. Hey, at least the Phantom survived. Phantom's probably more useful than Ford. Uh, oh my gosh, okay, this is getting really... It's, it's so much, oh my gosh, dude. Well, hmm. Oh, I should have checked that more closely than I did. I just kind of assumed. I was like, yeah, that'll be fine. Sure. Okay, great. Aw, man, I'm so sad. I mean, it, it doesn't matter, like... Objectively speaking, I think Dusel is actually the better unit, which is really sad considering I haven't even used Dusel like at all. It's just it's upsetting to lose a unit that you like put it work into. This is not a good situation. This is a really bad situation, in fact. This kind of calls for a Garrick. Is that sad? This calls for a... Yep, we're whipping out the Brave Sword! Okay. 
Okay, so where can you reach? That'd be great. Oh man, I, 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 it's just like it hits in waves. The 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 the, 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 the sadness over the gear or the. Uh, Oh my gosh, I'd be crushed if Garrick died. Like, absolutely just crushed. Okay, I'm gonna have to really watch this too. I'm planning to put Tethys here, but uh, she's probably gonna have to get rescued. This is not a good spot for Tethys. There's way too much they could get to her. Um, if we can clear this out and just stick somebody above her, she'll probably be fine. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm just I'm trying to like precisely like quantify my feelings because it's it's a very odd mentality. Like, yeah, objectively, Ford sucked. He did so poorly this run. Uh, but like, it's so sad. Like, he was around for so long, and just to have him die like that is like so upsetting. He shouldn't have died. I I just forgot. I kind of completely forgot to heal, honestly. Oh my gosh, it's really bad. Okay, what do you have? You have a gentleman. Nice. This is such an awkward spot, because I like I want to push up, but it pushing up puts me in a spot where like more units than I'm comfortable with can get hit by these freaking whatever they are, centaurs, I guess? I think what happens if I like leave things as they are right now? I think somebody dies if I leave, if I end turn. Well, yeah, obviously Tatsus dies. That's not even a question. Um, just a rough chapter. Oh, she has like an axe reaver. He does have a goddamn axe reaver. Damn it. Okay. I was like, just kind of memeing, like, yeah, watch this, he has like an axe reaver, haha, <laughs> that would that be funny. Damn, dude. Whatever, I guess Gilliam's in danger too. Have fun, Gilliam. And now Tethys is in danger from that direction. Cool. I should have just rescued Tethys, honestly. I don't feel safe with this. I like I don't feel safe ending turn, but I like I don't know what else I could physically do. Hope for a crit. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for Mag. That helps. Helps a lot. I still don't feel comfortable though. There's still there is a legitimate risk of Cormac dying, honestly. Oh, that's a that's a bow! Oh, there is a lot of risk of Cormac dying. I can't do that. I actually can't physically do that. Okay. Tana's in danger. Tana is in danger. There is a lot of danger this turn, in fact. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, a lot of things could go very poorly here. That doesn't actually get hit. Oh, cool. What a weirdly... What a just weird configuration of units. Uh, let me just put it this way. If nobody dies this turn, I will be floored. I, I just can't physically see a, a universe where everyone survives this turn. It's like, it's just... Oh my gosh. Uh, these reinforcements are so obnoxious. Oh my gosh. Good dodge. I actually thought he'd go for Gilliam since he has a uh, reaver. Good dodge! Oh, I love that. That is really good. Yes. Good. Okay. These dodges are really just nice.
Phantom, you put in work. Ow. Okay. So the pressure from the south is not as bad now. <laughs> Why? Okay. Just gotta keep going, I guess. I mean, just... What can we do? I don't think, uh... Even if I were to clear, I would have to, like... I don't think I can even rescue the twins anymore with, uh, with their mounts. No, I can't. Okay. It's out of, like, morbid curiosity. No, that's not, that's not pretty. That's quite, quite bad. Um, okay, cool. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear a few more waves, and I guess I'm gonna have to make this freaking two parts. I don't want to do it. I want to... Like, I'm so close to the end of the game, and I'm like... Oh my gosh. I do have to remember that Tana has my Billy Shield now, and not Cormac. It's a big thing. Uh, not amazing. But not awful. Yet again, I'm going to have to really watch these ranges. Because what would a late game Fire Emblem chapter be without 75,000 reinforcements coming in from all directions at all times? <sighs> We're having fun. We're having a fun time. We're having a fun little sacred stone this time. This chapter is, may or may not be taking several years off of my life, but I'm having fun. Ish. Yes, I'm bringing back the ish. I think it's apt. Come on, better Ford. Oh yeah. I gave him a one-use jab. Uh, honestly, I figured he would just kind of be pure filler, so I just didn't really care about his items that much. Oh, how the tides have turned! Look who's suddenly my second best great knight. Actually, he's probably better than Gilliam. He's probably my best. Okay. Just have you be a big old dumb wall. What does they have axe reavers? Will we have axe reavers too? <laughs> they do not. Okay. Just gonna keep a big old. Uh, the best way I can think of to describe it a big old dumb wall. This is just such a. This, this is asshole. What the fucking axe reaver, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna say it. This is substantially more difficult than that last chapter was. Like, for as anxious as I was about that one, here we are in this train wreck. Okay. My hope is just to relieve the pressure and then end the recording, but like. When is it going to stop? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is absurd. I need to heal uh, Seth before he meets the same fate as Ford and doesn't get killed. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of break my upload schedule a little bit. And I'm going to try to like... I might actually try to record like later tonight, even though I'm like really not in love with the, the nighttime recording thing. Because I really, like, I want to get to the finale. Like, I'm so close. I had it set up. I was like, okay, I'm going to record the finale on Thursday, and that'll be fine. We'll be so just ready to go. So I might, like, try to upload this and then upload the next part, like, within a relatively short succession. Oh, my gosh. I think Innes is dead. Whoopsie. Uh, that sucks. I have more in my convoy. I'm not that upset if Ines dies, but again, it's more about losing the character than losing the unit. Like, he's not... Okay, come on, kill Redemption arc? Eh. Does the other guy have a jab? I think he does. 
I guess the other question is, will he go for Innes or will he go for the Phantom? I don't know. I, I think it's quite likely that he goes for Innes and kills. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, this chapter is so much! And that guy is one space off. Oh my gosh. Just watching, like, with bated breath in case there's... No! That's fine! Just pile them in! Why not? We're... We, we're just... We're vibing! Yeah! We are not vibing! You know what? I'm just gonna risk it. It's for, I'm, I'm so over this chapter already, dude! <sighs> okay, I'm... I'm, like, 80% fine, but I'm, like... That 20% is very not fine. I don't think that, like, made sense, but it was a sentence. I attempted a sentence. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember this chapter being a lot, but this is, like, a lot, a lot. Our shell's been really clutch here. I think of what I want to even do, because there's like... There's a lot I could do and a lot I can't do, so it's like... Oh my gosh. Okay, I was really relying on that crit. I was like, I was going to be so upset to crit. Oh my gosh, you can get... Oh, jeez. hoping that the uh, terrain would like block him off, but no. Okay, what do you have? Why are there so many enemies? Like, I know this is, it's like the, the point of the chapter is supposed to be like the big, like, final confrontation before the, the the actual finale, but it's like, oh my gosh, dude, this is a, so just obnoxious. <sighs> okay, please, let's lay one round. Okay, love it. And he has an Axe Reaver, doesn't he? Yeah, of course. <sighs> this is like a big endurance test, and I think I failed it. Any chance that one used jet? Nice. See, it had a purpose. Renok, just... Uh, how can you beat this unit in usefulness? Tethys has been really clutch, though, I will say that. Uh, it's, uh, it was a good idea to bring her back out of the uh, retired units club. Um, see, I was... Oh my gosh, that's such a good crit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was an amazing crit, dude. How... It was a 71% chance at the crit, dude. Come on. Cut me some slack. I'm trying so hard. <sighs> okay. And is still in quite a bit of danger right now. I want to go in, but I also don't want to prompt... Spits and Reeves range is okay. Wait, so Reeves to. I guess I'm just gonna freaking. I guess. Here we go. Why did that? What? Did I not check the damage correctly? Like, uh, I feel like the damage was higher on both sides than I anticipated. Like, what in the world was that? I'm confused, but whatever. I guess. I didn't think Town was gonna. What? I guess I just didn't look closely enough. Like, the damage was just randomly higher than I expected. Sure, that's really odd. Whatever, it's kinda, it's fine. I was playing the physics curve that if you got hit anyway, so, like, whatever, but. Okay. So, we need to. Okay. We need to do two more things. One is block this off. 
I think it's just a Steel Axe. I think I feel okay putting Erica in range. She should be fine. Um, well, she might die, but whatever. It's just a game over. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so Seth can't kill. Okay, correction. He can kill, but he can't kill reliably, and I don't like putting him in range of another enemy with weapon triangle disadvantage. So what I'm going to do is put him here with a sword. He should be fine, or if not, whatever, I'm over this chapter. Yep, that's where we're at. He should be fine, and if not, whatever. <laughs> whatever, we lost Ford. What else can we lose? Oh my gosh, this map is like... Like I said, I, I remember this being a lot, but this is, this is way more than I was anticipating. This is like, oh, this is the most. I really wish that Garrett could get down there, but he cannot. I could just kill the guy, that would make things a little bit safer. Summon! Hopefully I get in a situation soon where I can, like, break, because it's already, this recording is already quite long. And there aren't any more enemies that can hit Tethys, I believe. If you're wondering why I'm so concerned about Tetha, she will die in one shot to anything. She is very, very frail. <sighs> whatever. If somebody, you know what, if somebody dies, like, whatever at this point. Oh my gosh, this is so obnoxious. And they just keep coming. Yeah, I try to take my phantoms down, take you down. Good crit. Good level up? Come on, Josh. Okay, nice! It was the secret Joshua redemption arc all along! Haha! -ha. Well, let's play a guessing game. Where are the reinforcements gonna come from this turn? Let's find out! I'm going for Garrick, that's just really weird. Okay, whatever. Oh, it's those eyeballs. Cool. I knew there were eyeballs, I, I knew it. This is a really bad spot. Uh, I kind of had. I mean, there's not much I could do against the eyeballs because if I try to kill them, like these guys are just gonna swarm. And uh, then there's a little freebie. Out of curiosity, okay. Interesting. So Tana would have to fight two. How does Tana do against two? Sixteen. I'm still so confused about why she took more damage than I was anticipating on that one round, but I guess I was just not checking damage correctly. Like, I should, I guess I just didn't look very closely. Uh, I can't imagine the eyeballs damage her. She has good res. Yeah, one. I feel like I'd be safe if I put, if I were to do this. Right? Steel, steel and jab, steel. And you should all be evilized, I would imagine. I guess I'll go for like one more turn. I was, I don't know, I keep saying one more turn and then more reinforcements run on in, so. Probably be saving one turn for the next 45 minutes as I keep, uh, for this one more, just one more turn, just, just one, one more. I think I saw like a really injured person. Okay, I guess maybe I was just looking at Ines again. Hey, Ines. I guess. To be fair, I can't summon this turn, so this would be a good healy null turn. Yes. That is that is the canon name. If you can't summon and you have to heal, it is canonically. It's it's actually there's a guidebook that says this. It's it's known as a healy null turn. Don't don't judge me for that name. It is canon. Gosh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Cool. How's your weapon rank doing? Oh my gosh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, 
Tethys has been good. Uh, I, I've been kind of regretting not fielding her, and I, I, I'm liking actually like using her again. She'll be our... She'll, she's the new Ford. No, nobody wants to be the new Ford. If you're the new Ford, you're probably going to get memed on for like 30 hours of gameplay, and then you're going to die. Oh, whatever. That's where I'm at. Just whatever. Oh my gosh, I want that. I want that S so badly. I want her to be my Excalibur user. Like, it doesn't... Does it functionally, like, benefit me? Not especially, but I just want it. I, I like Lorishel a lot. Okay, let's have you... I love that these fandoms have just such an absurd, like, movement. I'm hoping you can dodge one or something. Um... Level. Nice. Oh yeah, right, I almost killed the dude. Uh who needs EXP? Six ten Yeah, you can't get there. Uh six. But you also have healing, so like whatever. Uh I'll just give it to Josh. Cool. Nice. It's good that was a good Josh level up. He kind of lives or dies on if he just gets a few clutch points in, like, uh... Like, that's just where Joshua is. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'd like to have this be able to dance next turn, so... Let's get her out there. I guess we're going for a few more turns, because, uh... My hope was to stop at a point where, like, the pressure was off. And the pressure is not off. Maybe I will just stop next turn, because if I like keep going through all the freaking pressure, then it's gonna end up being like at the point where I might as well end it either way. Oh look at this phantom go! Oh, he's crushing it! Unironically better than Ford. Of course now I'm in a bad spot again. Aw. Why did you go for Okay, sure. I don't. I don't know why you meant Ratana. Uh, Cormac could. Cormac has lower res and can't counter. So, sure. Okay. No, just. I. I was just dying for more reinforcement. Why? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to end it here, even though we're in a spot where, like, five units are about to die or something. Sure. So, I'm going to try to record tonight, and I might do, like, two back-to-back -back uploads or something, I guess. That's my... Like, I might do, like, two days of uploads, I guess, just to finish this chapter, and then hopefully get to the finale. Because I really, like, I, 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 my schedule's already, like, been thrown off. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here, probably upload this tonight, and then try to record tonight again as well if I can, or something, because I really, I just want to finish this chapter, I just want to finish this chapter. We lost Ford, we lost our sanity for the 800th time in this run, we almost gained S on Lara Shell, that's going to be interesting. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, um, if things go to plan, there will probably be an upload two days in a row. And then it'll be a break, and then it'll be the finale. That's just the best thing I can think to do. Because this, there, I, this is going to take probably another hour, honestly. Like, this map is so long. So, if you've watched this far, and you've endured the tragedy of Ford with me, then I thank you so much for coming this far, and watching me, and crying alongside me of our poor Ford death. And I, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.